Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Do Re Mi from Sound of Music. It's the Do a Deer, a Female Deer, that song, okay? Give you a preview of that whole theme that you're going to learn. It goes like this before we start learning. Check it out. So melody and chords, that's the foundation of a song. From that, you can add all these improvisations and decorations afterwards, okay? To make up your own version. Anyway, let's go. All right, we'll break it up into a few parts that's easier to learn. Let me see. So let's start off with the first part. First part goes like this. Ryan starts on the C, D, E, C, E, C, E. That's it for the first part for the right hand. Let's do it again. So it goes C, D, E, C, E, C, E, D, E, F, F, E, D, F. And that's it for the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, two chords here the first part. The two chords are C major, which is C, E, G. Second chord, G major, which is G, B, D. So with these two chords in mind, so C major and G major, the two hands together goes like this, so C and C major together. D and G major together. That's it for the first part. Let's do it again, so it goes together. Together. Just like that. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues, it goes E, F, G. E, G, E, G, F, G, A, A, G, F, A. That's it for the second part for the right hand. Let's do it again. So it goes E, F, G, E, G, E, G, F, G, A, A, G, F, A. And that's it for the right hand for the second part. Once get that left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are C major, which is C, E, G. And second chord this time is F major, which is F, A, C. So with these two chords in mind, so C major and F major, the two hands together goes like this, E and C major together. F and F major together. That's it for the second part, let's do it again. So it goes together. Together. That's it for the second part, so back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this, check it out. Moving on to the third part, right hand continues, goes G, down to C, D, E, F, G, A, A, D, E, F, G, A, B, that's it for the third part, okay? So let's do it again, so it goes G, C, D, E, F, G, A, A, D, E, F, G, A, B, that's it for the right hand for the third part. Left hand we have four chords, okay, the four chords are C major, C, E, G, second chord F major, F, A, C. Third chord D minor, D F A, and fourth chord G major, which is G B D. So with these four chords in mind, so C major, F major, D minor, G major, two hands together goes like this, G and C major together. A and F major together. A and D minor together. B and G major together. Just like that for the third part. Let's do it again. So it goes together. That's it for the third part. Back to back, the three parts of blunt so far will be played like this. Check it out. Moving on to 
the fourth and last part. Ryan goes B E F G A B C C B A down to F up to B G up to C down to G down to E D. That's it for the fourth and last part for the right hand. One more time. So it goes B E F G A B C C B A F B G C G E D. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand is five chords. Five chords are E major, which, uh, sorry, E minor, which is E G B. Second chord is A minor, which is A C E. Third chord is F major, F A C. Fourth chord is G major, G B D. And fifth chord is C major, which you know is C E G. So with these five chords in mind, so E minor, A minor, F major, G major, and C major. This fourth part, two ends together, goes like this. So B and E minor together. C and A minor together. A and F major together, B and G major together, C and C major together. Like that. One more time. So it goes together, 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 Like that. And there you have it for the fourth and last part. So back to back, all four parts will be played like this. That's it, okay? So very fun stuff. So once you get all the melody and chords all good, you can start to add your own like improvisations and chord patterns to it to make it your own, okay? You can do like arpeggios, you can do like this oompa oompa pattern for all the chords to make it like very jumpy. It's like Yeah, this is like personally my favorite. Okay, just like one simple pattern already made it like like very awesome. Okay, I just applied the same pattern to every single chord and yeah, it's just like that. Okay, so you can check out all those patterns in my piano courses, link in the description. But anyways, that's pretty much it. By the way, if you're a sound of music enthusiast, I've done a lot of other sound of music awesome themes, so you can learn it from my channel as well. So check it out. But anyway, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.